السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Nivin Saif Al-Islam, I'm a lecturer in Radio Diagnosis Department. Today our lecture is about introduction to chest imaging. I hope the lecture will find you in great health. Uh, first, what techniques we have to assess the chest? First of all, we have our old loyal man, plain radiography, the king of, uh, of the chest, either in routine or special techniques like fluoroscopy to assess respiratory movement or as a guidance for biopsy, bronchography to assess and evaluate tracheobronchial tree anatomy, uh, which is rarely used nowadays, pulmonary angiography and bronchial arteriography. They are invasive techniques for imaging vessel and are only used as less invasive like contrast CT and MRI fail or need to be more confirmed. Tomography. CT scanning is second most important radiological modality in respiratory medicine. It allows a more detailed visualization of thoracic structure than radiography. It's often performed with contrast um, injection or contrast enha enhancement. It also can be used without contrast enhancement. Uh, can be used for with virtual bronchoscopy or ang uh, angiography. It also can be combined with PET for staging of malignancies. MRI has advantage that radiation is avoided and main indication is visualization of great vessel and heart but it's also useful to suspect tumoral invasion of mediastinum chest wall. Scintigraphy or isotope study uh, mainly indicated in diagnosis of pulmonary embolus and for regional lung function study. Ultrasound become an important tool um, and its advantage are like of radiation and low cost and morbidity. Um, it's mainly used in assessment of pleural effusion, pleural thickening, chest wall abnormality, and uh, um, diagnosis of pneumothorax and guidance psi. First, um, our old loyal man, our king, the plain x ray. Remember our main rule, rule number one always check patient name, date, check orientation, left and right label are placed correctly. The project projection either posterior anterior anteroposterior or lateral of course all supine and portable x-rays are posterior let's revise the dentist on x-ray the black denote air or gas dark gray fat light gray fluid or solid white bone or calcium let's be systematic when we look to the x-ray we have a b c d f first a for airway trachea which must be and central bronchi, which must be in the midline or just to the right side. B for breathing, lungs, parenchyma, either it's too white, too black, look for the fissures, the bones, ribs, vertebrae, numeri, clavicles, scapula, for lytic or sclerotic lesion, the lytic will be black and sclerotic white, and of course for vertebral body height. C for cardiac and vessels, the cardiac silhouette, we will mention later. Mediastinal contour and wet hilum, the normal hilum, hilar shadow made of vessel. Left one is higher than the right, and it must have concave shape. Don't forget the concavity of the hilum. Pulmonary vessel, upper zone, are smaller than lower zone. Costophrenic angle for the fusion. B for diaphragm, you should look beneath, sorry, below the diaphragm for free gas if there is perforated viscous. As you are not looking only for an image, you are looking for a whole patient if there is any abnormality to diagnose uh, the patient. Extremities for uh, the corners of the firm for any abnormality and we have the king F forgotten or hidden in the areas that we usually forget to look for and unfortunately there is a lot of abnormality can be detected within like in lung episodes behind the heart as it um, overlie lung parenchyma breast shadow in a lot of cases we can get a um, totally normal plain x-ray but there is abnormal density or abnormal soft tissue in the breast and maybe the patient is uh, fortunate to diagnose early stage breast cancer just from plain x-ray paravertebral region and thyroid but the importance of plain x-ray it's important in everything Diagnosis for lack of chest and heart routine pre-employment routine pre-operative follow-up of malignant and medical checkup there are many positions for plain X-ray, but uh, our routine are posterior anterior and lateral, and sometimes we use anteroposterior. 
as you can see here the posture anterior position first uh, not to magnify the heart and to protect the important organs like thyroid and breast from excess radiation that we can avoid here's the um, posture anterior plate x-ray and here's the lateral position for lateral x-ray anthroposterior of course for bedridden patient like in ICU and uh, incubation so what's the criteria of good x-ray of the chest as you can see here there's a uh, exposure like we can see here first the um, uh, position and here's the penetration either um, Penetration either and under exposure. Here is the image of an inspiration uh, image and expiration image. We are usually use plain X ray in inspiration and, and sometimes in expiration, like in cases of foreign body aspiration. Bronchography, as you can see here, to assess the tracheobronchial tree. Seating, lung window, mediastinal window, and bone window. Lung window for the lung parenchyma, mediastinal window for mediastinum and uh, lymphadenopathy. Uh, bone window to assess the bone. Here is the coronal image. MRI, axial and coronal image. Coronary angiography. Ultrasound. As you can see, we can detect angle. Eye stop study. Then, what is the normal plain X ray? Um, the chest has. Uh, has no a lot of uh, of viscous. It's only the lung and mediastinum, which um, includes the heart and great vessels. As you can see here, the right lung. Um, we also can assess the cardiac size, as you can see. Pleura and diaphragm. Uh, they are should be clearly visualized, and the uh, uh, right copula should be higher than the left copula. Secondary to the effect of the heart on the left diaphragm and the uh, liver on the right diaphragm and of course uh, the costophrenic angle should be clearly sharply outlined the diaphragmatic flattening they are should be concave upwards and as an imaginary line for the dome of both uh, phrenic angles e an imaginary line between the costophrenic and cardiophrenic angles b there is a distance 1.5 between them. What's the lower anatomy? As we mentioned before, each lung is divided into many loops, and each loop is divided to many segments. Each segment has its own blood supply and bronchus. Like here, as you can see here in the uh, lateral uh, image, the upper loop in red, green, metal, uh, purple the lower and the left side yellow the upper loop and blue the lower and here's the segmentation of the lung each loop is divided into many segments and right upper loop is divided into apical and green pink anterior segment blue the posterior segment while the middle segments what pathology we can detect in plain x-ray or in chest radiography? What the patterns of chest disease first? Airspace disease, denoting disease of alveoli. Airway disease, denoting disease in uh, bronchi and bronchioles. Interstitial disease of parenchyma, pleural disease, and thoracic disease. There is a lot of signs in chest radiology, but uh, we have to focus about, uh, on uh, three signs today. Silhouette sign, air bronchogram, golden S sign. First, silhouette sign. But what's the meaning of silhouette? This is a silhouette. It's a type of art, drawing, or photographing. Means dark shape and outline of someone or something, visible in restricted light against brighter background. It depends on the contrast of solid colors and first described as radiological sign by Sasson. But what is the meaning in radiology as a radiological sign? It means non-visualization 
of the border of an anatomical structure that is normally visualized. T2, area neighboring this margin filled with the tissue or material of same density. I think this definition is much more harder than the first one, but we will um, explain it again on the image. The only important of the silhouette sign as to indicate the localization of the leaf. As you can see here, this is the silhouette. Abraham referred to phenomena of air-filled bronchi. Normally, we can see the bronchi within the lung, but um, it's filled with air right now and more visible due to pacification of sur surrounding alveoli, which get um, more brighter, like gray or white. And this almost always caused by um, airspace or alveolar pathology. Um, it will not be visible if the bronchi, bronchi themselves are opacified. Like here, can you see this linear branching? And here, there is opacification in the upper. And what the is the golden S sign? It's seen in the posterior anterior X-ray and chest a CT scan. And it's na named because re it resembles a reverse S shape. Uh, sometimes referred to as reverse S sign of golden. It present in cases of right upper lobe collapse with a central hilar mass. This gives um, right suspicion of primary bronchial carcinoma. Shaped. As you can see here, there is an upper lobe. First disease we have is consolidation. What's the meaning of consolidation? It's an alveolar space disease, air space disease. Normally, the alveoli are filled with air, but now it's replaced with fluid, cells, tissue, or any other material. The features of consolidation are air space pacification and a bronchogram. As you can see here by the arms, there is a uh, dynasty in the um, middle loop, in the frontal image, and here in the top projection. Also here there is a left upper loop opacity. Here there are bilateral upper loop opacity consolidation. Um, how can we determine the location of airspace specification as we mentioned before by the silhouette sign? If the consolidation in right upper loop it will obscure the right parastracheal strap. If in the middle loop uh, will obscure the right heart border and the right lower will obscure the right hemidiaphragm, and the left upper lobe will obscure the left heart border and left paratracheal stripe, and in left lower one will obscure the left hemidiaphragm and the link aorta. Second pathology, collapse. Most often collapse of most or all of loops is secondary to bronchial obstruction. Right upper lobe collapse has distinctive feature and usually easily identified in a frontal projection than lateral. There is increased density in the upper medial aspect, elevation of right hilum secondary to the traction, golden is sign if there is a hilar mass. And on lateral projection, it's harder to assess secondary to soft tissue of shoulder which obscures upper zone. There is widget shaped opacification in the upper anterior chest. As you can see here, there is opacity in the upper right middle loop collapse or simply the middle loop collapse has distinctive feature and it much more is um, easily diagnosed in lateral projection than in frontal one. In frontal, uh, it's subtle compared to the lateral right mid or lower zone airspace opacification obscuration of right heart border on lateral projection, the right middle loop collapse usually um, appear as triangular opacity in anterior aspect of the chest overlying cardiac shadow with apex directing to the uh, hilum. As you can see here in the has this right lower loop collapse has distinctive feature and usually relatively easily ident identified and the finding are identical on both sides. Triangular opacity at the right lower zone, usually medially, with apex pointing toward the hilum. Obscuration of the medial aspect of the dome uh, of right hemidiaphragm. Inferior displacement of right hilum secondary to the traction. 
preservation of clear right heart border and this uh, in contrast to the right middle loop opacification collapse. Like here, there is a triangular opacification. Third, we got abscess. The classical appearance of pulmonary abscess is cavitary containing gas fluid level. Generally, abscesses are rounded in shape with similar in both frontal and lateral projection. Here is the fourth cystic bronchiaxis. Characterized by secular dilatation of bronchi that extend to the pleural surface, when aggregated, they may get a bunch of grape-like appearance. As you can see here, there is a multiple team. Solitary pulmonary nodule. Like here, it's a wide range term. First, what's the meaning of solitary solid nodule? It's discrete, well marginated round opacity, less than 3 cm, completely surrounded by normal lung parenchyma, uh, doesn't touch hilum or mediastinum, not associated with adenopathy, atlexis, or pleural effusion. Lesions larger than 3 cm are considered to be mass and treated as malignancy anthropoder wise. There is a differential diagnosis and why differential diagnosis for solitary pulmonary nodule may be neoplastic, inflammatory, congenital, or miscellaneous. Emphysema. It identified as abnormal permanent enlargement of airspace distal to the, to the terminal bronchiole, accompanied by destructive of the alveolar wall and without obvious fibrosis. Its entity grouped as COPD, best evaluated, evaluated on CT. Although indirect sign can be noticed in X-ray, we can see in plain radiography two signs: hyperinflation and vascular change. What the meaning of that? That everything is increased. Hyperinflation, flattened of the hemidiaphragm is the most reliable sign. So um, the flattening of the uh, hemidiaphragm we mentioned before, um, they are concave upward. No, now there is increase in flattening. Increase in radial sensory of the lung secondary to the air within the alveoli. Increased retrosternal space, increased anteroposterior diameter of the chest, widely spaced ribs and sternal bowing in vascular change, paucity of the blood vessel, and often distorted. As you can see here, there is increase. You can see here some sort of flat, and sometimes there is emphysematous bully can be detected. This one is joint. Metastasis. Unfortunately, pulmonary metastasis are common and result of metastatic spread for via blood or lymphics. Uh, it may be uh, multiple, maybe solitary, um, maybe calcified or non-calcified, maybe cannonball in very large size, and here this one is calcified. Right. Plural fusion means collection of fluid within plural space. The term is usually res reserved for collection of serious fluid. Like you can see here, the, um, as you can see here, there is a marked plural effusion on the right side. Here's also massive left plural effusion that causes mediastinal shift. Here also there is um, plural pneumothorax. Refer to the presence of gas which is air, in the plural space. This collection of gas is constantly enlarging with resulting compression of mediastinal structure. can be life-threatening and known as tension pneumothorax. If non-tension, so it's a sample pneumothorax. Of course, there's um, many causes of the uh, pneumothorax, but what's a plain radiography finding? Pneumothorax uh, is when licked for usually easily to be appreciated in erect uh, plain x-ray. Typically, there is visible visceral pleural edge, very thin and sharp white line. No long marking are seen peripherally to this line. Peripheral space is radial usant compared to the adjacent lung. Lung may be completely collapsed and mediastinum shouldn't shift contralateral. If it's shifted, so I should, uh, I should consider tension pneumothorax. Like you, as you can see, there is a, here is this tension pneumothorax. As you can see, there is a shot. This is in plane and sorry, in CT scan. A 
and here is the image of a pneumothorax and the lung parenchyma is major with no lung parenchyma peripheral to it. There is here hydropneumothorax. Here is the air floating upward and the fluid here making air fluid level. As you can see here, hydropneumothorax. Foreign body. Uh, it's more common in pediatric age group and in real ladies when they put the pen in the mouth and then they can chalk or something and aspirate um, the pen. It goes foreign body aspiration. Some foreign body are um, rigid use and we can um, detect it and plain X-ray. And finally, the major monster bronchogenic carcinoma. The major risk factor is cigarette smoking, which is implicated in 90% of cases and increased risk of lung cancer. Um, this one is central hyaluronic Like here, this is one is also central. Okay, uh, we finished our curriculum until here, but unfortunately, the life has no curriculum. Uh, we have to know our worldwide enemy, the COVID-19. COVID-19 or coronavirus disease 2019 uh, is caused by uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2. It's a strain of coronavirus. The first case were detected in Wuhan, China in 2019 and it got a uh, current outbreak in 2020. Clinical feature usually present with fever, cough, shortness of breath. Other symptoms could be occur and the patient could be asymptomatic. Illness severity can vary from mild to severe to critical. Uh, COVID-19 uh, sufferers are also um, reported with disturbance of smell and taste, uh, which find to uh, to be more neurological than conductive causes. There are also uh, conjunctivitis and continuously laboratory finding. Uh, we depend on uh, PCR test and CBC and CRP. The PCR test is specific but has a lower sensitivity. CBC there is decreased lymphocyte and increase in C-reactive protein. Radiological findings, there is a debate about the importance or the rule of radiology, uh, if we can use it in um, early diagnosis or in cases of uh, high risk or in follow-up uh, and to assess the progression. However, um, it appears in x-ray or CT as a typical or organizing pneumonia bilateral, peripheral, and basal predominant distribution. Uh, imaging has limited sensitivity for COVID. Sometimes cases appear with normal uh, radiograph. However, CT has higher sensitivity but lower specificity. Uh, it can show grand glass opacification, as you can see here, with multifocal, bilateral, and peripheral. But um, usually not in the early phases. It can be unifocal. can appear crazy. As crazy paving, uh, sometimes there are thickened in the interlobular and intralobular line, giving the appear of uh, crazy paving in later stages. Vascular dilatation, this is a typical finding in area of ground glass uh, widening, is widening of vessel. Pleural effusion, pericardial effusion, lymphadenopathy, cavitation, halo sign are uncommon but also are possible. There is much overlap of CT pattern of COVID and other viral pneumonias. Um, just film can be useful in the follow-up of the disease. Um, these two images, the right side image for the patient uh, in admission and the other one which appear like normal and the other one uh, four days um, of the patient after admission. As you can see there is um, progressive deterioration of the case. So. Uh, the plain x-ray can play a role in triage of the patient of non-COVID-19, possible uh, or most likely COVID severity of the disease and prediction of worsening or... Thank you for being great audience. Stay home, stay safe.